Freemasons. I actually had a conversation with a gentleman on the phone, and uh, I was surprised to hear he's a Freemason and practicing Catholic. I said, do you know that you're not supposed to be a yeah. practicing Freemason? And yes. he made excuses and act like, you know, they're charitable, and uh, I didn't yeah. get anywhere. He must be... He yeah. must be at a degree that he hasn't been really brought into any of the secrets of, of the Lodge. In other words, he's not initiated yet, Father? Well, he might be initiated as a Mason, mm -hmm. but he might be a very low-degree Mason. Yeah, I think oh. yes. I think he's only third. Reach, once you reach the 18th degree, you can't get out. Wow. Um, or if you do get out, um, you know, you're, you're sort of expelled, but you... you, you it's very mm -hmm. dangerous to leave masonry, um, and that's all very satanic at the upper level. So it all looks very benign, but their secrets are all very, very opposed to religion mm -hmm. and certainly very opposed to Christianity and Catholicism mm -hmm. in particular. Yeah. So and they, they may have hospitals and they may do all this philanthropic work, but honestly, the folks at the highest end, it's all a it's, it's, it's big front. Um, yeah. And, and it's incompatible to be a Freemason and a practicing Catholic. You can't be both. Yeah. Wow. And, but, um, it was disappointing, he, too, because he seems rather pious, you know, and so, but he just just ignored me like I'm trying to switch him on political candidates, you know. Uh -huh. And I even gave him examples and stories. I didn't I didn't tell him about the St. Gemma story. I mean, if he's a, a good, strong Catholic, he might believe in the saints. Uh, but I even did mention, you know, uh, our friend uh, Michael uh, over there on your side of the camp who deals with satanic ritual abuse cases and, you know, and some of these others. I tried to get it out as much as I could that I was uh, uh -huh. able to talk, but it was it was disappointing. It really was. I really thought I had a guy who was locked in and that, and that one encumbering thing because uh -huh. he doesn't realize it's a, you know, a sin or a curse. It's more like a curse. I tried to explain it. It's, it's like it's it's a curse. It itself that it, you know has to be renounced even if you're not going in there and you're right. not sacrificing anything and you're just doing right. lodge brother stuff talking about your next event circus or whatever right yeah so well, I'm, I'm right. glad you made and that there clear. are mm -hmm. there is a rich there is a right to actually break all the ties to Freemasonry that the, that a person can pray mm -hmm. and where do you find uh, that specific one at it's is uh, is it through uh, church sources book anything to um I don't remember where we located the Freemasonry rite. Um, mm -hmm. It might have just been passed down from, I think I got it from a priest in the Midwest um, mm -hmm. who's in a, who, who knows an awful lot about Freemasonry. I'm pretty sure that's where I, where I was able to get the copy. It wasn't published. It wasn't mm -hmm. in a book, but it was, it was, it might, it might have been in a book somewhere along the line, but it was, it was sent to me via the internet. Yes. And, um, by this priest who is very, very well versed in in the dangers of Freemasonry and the de deception of Freemasonry. Yeah, yeah, because we had to deal with that on a lot of levels too, just in in what we do. That that's one of the things we ask for in our big checklist. You know, like have you been you know, right. molested we when you're a child? We do the same thing. Yes. So yeah. the, and and that can create when people are you know in their bloodline have freemasonry yes. in the bloodline maybe say their grandfather or father or they just are aware of people in their bloodline who are freemasons it it and they've got issues of the occult it can cause huge problems and it causes a lot of problems of oppression that's what i find yeah so w once you know you've got the freemasonry issues mm -hmm. you just as a as as a precaution, we we would have them pray the entire ritual, and mm. break all thirty three degrees. Wow, yeah. that's, that's a good thing. That's yeah. really good. Which yeah. takes yeah. a while, but it's, I bet it's for their it's benefit. Yeah, I know of a case that uh, you know a demon actually identified as uh, the source that it entered in through generational lines from a Freemason grandfather, mm. something like that, in uh, one of the. Cases. It's very enlightening to know that something that seems just like Fred Flintstone and Barney Rubble, Water Buffalo Lodge, is not just a bunch of guys that just, you know, right. get together in a good old boys club or something. And, right, right. When, mm -hmm. when, when there there are books published by, by, uh, former Masons, former mm -hmm. Freemasons, and they yes. sometimes in, in quite a bit of detail will explain what goes on at those in their secret sessions. Mm-hmm. 